So treatments for autism, I wish I could say I had a magic pill, I could give it to you and your child would be normal after that. But unfortunately, it's not something like pneumonia that we can really cure with antibiotics. Um, autism is a chronic condition and that's because it, is, it results from really the way the brain is formed. So the anatomy of the brain is different, the way the neurochemicals the transmitters in the brain work are different and so we really can try and maximize during the developmental period the formation of your brain and that's the best thing that we can do to help your child's brain develop normally and so the earlier that you get in and get treatment and that's with uh, the really the treatment of choice at this point is ABA or applied behavioral analysis which works with a child intensely in their home and kind of restructures what they do as well as medications targeted to any behaviors that may be going on so if your child is anxious or depressed we have medications that may target those um, as well as aggression is often a common problem but I think really helping increase communication is the key to really helping these children um, be able to function in um, a much more normal manner in society. Uh, there's obviously a lot of discussion about causes of autism yeah. and a lot of information and misinformation uh, available. Mm -hmm. what, what is scientifically and clinically known about what causes autism? Well, I don't know that we have one single cause of autism, and certainly that's one of the big areas for research these days, but we know that it does tend to run in families, and there is some genetics involved in that. Um, we also know that the anatomy in the brain is different in children with autism. Um, so those are all things that contribute to this. As I said before, those are some of the things that if we catch this disorder early on, we can help change or ameliorate as children grow up and hopefully help the brain develop in a more normal manner. Um, there have been some uh, concerns about vaccines or infection contributing to this. There's really no evidence of that at this time. It's still something obviously we want to look at, but I, you know, I want to reassure people that there's really no evidence at all that vaccines contribute to autism. You should feel perfectly comfortable vaccinating your child and protecting them.